So going into the material editor here, I'm going to go into materials, and I'm going to grab me a, a AOV right RGB. And then I'm going to go into maps, I'm going to go into OSL, and I'm going to grab the UV channel, CryptoMat. So maps, and it will be found under Arnold in CryptoMat. Okay. So for the AOV, I'm going to put this over here. Let's kind of go left to right with the flow. I'm going to name this one. So UV, and I'll call it channel. Copy that. And with this one, have it all the same like that. I'll take the UVW and just put it into the AOV input. With CryptoMat, there's nothing you have to do here. I'm sure there's other processes you can do, but this is just to just get started with it inside of Arnold. I'm going to render setup. Go to AOVs and instance this into the materials. And then for the maps, take the crypto map and instance it into the maps like that. Okay, then let's go into the AOV manager here. I'm going to make a custom AOV. I'm going to just call this UV channel, just like that. And add. I'll add that in there. I'll name this one. UV channel as well. So what it's going to do is it will reference the name inside of our AOV shaders. So having proper naming conventions help with that. Okay, with CryptoMat, just a drop down of the parts that you could grab. So I'll just grab them like this and it will create its own file for me right here. I'll just call this CryptoMat. Now these names do matter because that's what it's going to output as the name for the EXR file. Then I will pick what directory you want to output it to. And just for ease for me, I'm just going to put it onto a directory that I already made. I'll select. And that's the setup right there. So then I'll go over here, go to save file. I'll just call this test. XR, save, OK, and we'll render. OK, I'm going to go into After Effects. So I will start importing. I'll go to the directory that I rendered out into. Import. Make sure I'm in 16 bit here. OK, UV channel. Bam, we got the box, we got everything else, and then we got CryptoMat here. I'm going to CryptoMat, right click, 3D channel, CryptoMat, and then I'll pick the layer. I want to pick object. Okay, and then I'll just pick the box right here. And it's not an alpha, I'm not getting it checkered. So under UV channel, right here where our data is. I'll go and do Luma Map. Okay, then with the UV channel layer selected, I'll add the Francois Tarlier UV pass. And let's bring in a picture. Let's just do Gatorade. Put this into the composition, mute it. Have UV channel selected, UV pass, and then I'll pick the Gatorade layer, and there it is. I mapped it.